Hey guys, this is Advanced Milk Freak and I'm here doing another tutorial and I know I've had a lot of requests to do a lot of different things but uh, it's been very difficult to work out how to do them and a lot of issues going on at the moment and things so uh, here's another interesting one which I think could be very beneficial for everybody and it's how how to make a script happen uh, as soon as you enter the map. These are known as level scripts so let's just get straight into it. We start with a notepad and of course we start with the standard starting for any script and um, this this script, this level script is pretty much the same as any other script. You can make it do uh, most of the functions, mo uh, pretty much all the speaking functions, all the movement functions, all of these functions are applicable to the level script. So let's just uh, throw some stuff in. Uh, oh, back, by the way, backwards, backwards slash n uh, just moves the text down a line, like in the box. I'll show you later, just in case you didn't know. Uh, the only thing that, like, if you add movement and stuff, I don't want to go too far into that, but if you want to add movement, you just put the movement in. But at the end, you add in set var, and you set var, and I'm just going to do uh, 4,334 for no reason at all, let's just pick a number past 2000 which is recommended and OX01 release and end. So I'll just save this. Alright, level script RBC Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go on to the map we want to use. So I've got a ROM open. I do all of these, all of my scripts, everything I do is on Fire Red, and I tend to use Fire Red for everything. So any codes and things that I might use, just uh, it's probably only for Fire Red. Alright, so you open up the map you want the player to be in. So yeah, we've uh, loaded up the map that the, the script is going to occur. So the player would walk into this map and then the script would occur. So we go into this tab, header tab. I've not really been on it before. And uh, we go on add. And then yeah, we add another script. And we go on uh, 02 or this, the one, third one. The validates values, load handler, blah, blah, blah. We go on that one and you'll see that this flag and script offset things appear. Now we can go back to our level script and I uh, didn't compile it before so I will just quickly do that now. Uh, yep. 8,000, first script of the game. Let's copy that. Now we can go back into advanced map and we paste it in. We paste the offset in and um, if you're using a newer advanced map, because this is 1.9, if you're using 1.92 then there'll be two extra zeros at the beginning, so make sure you paste it after those two extra zeros. Oh, and for the flag, whatever set var value you use here, that is what you type in. So I've used 4034, so I'll type in 4034. And also, uh, if you do level script on top of level script, I might have to go into that another time, because uh, uh, even right now when I make this video, I'm running low on time. Uh, if you're doing uh, whatever value is here, you have to start with 01 in the script, but whatever value you use, you subtract 1 and that's the value. So that would be 0 if it was your first script. So you click Save Map Scripts and you press Save however many times you want. <laughs> and now on uh, Visual Boy Advance, you would open the ROM and uh, it's not done yet, I'm just showing you uh, a possible bug re 
bug error. Yeah, so you would open this up. I'm just going to skip to the part where you get, uh, well, right outside the door. Alright, so I'm here outside the door. And let's just go in and see how this works. We step in. I've not pressed anything. And it says, see, it works. I told you. So now if I press A or on the key on the keyboard Z, which should close the box, then a bunch of random stuff comes up. And if I keep pressing Z, more random stuff, keep pressing Z, more random stuff, and we go into an infinite loop of death and destruction. So how do we uh, get rid of that ultimate loop of death and destruction? Uh, what we need to do now is uh, back on this header we need to go to the secret menu and uh, press Control H which takes us to the advanced header menu and you have to look for map options or more specifically the map script offset now copy this map script offset and of course if you're using 1.92 of advanced map then there will be two zeros in front of it don't copy those just copy this uh, number and now you have to uh, download a new program called XSE Extreme Script Editor and I'll probably uh, it'll be probably on the links page of my website uh, the day this is uploaded or the day you watch this so uh, you can go to my website www.advancefreak.webs.com uh, and uh, check out the links page you become a member for free enough of that anyway let me carry on with the tutorial uh, so what you would do is you'd open uh, this is quite an old version of Extreme Script Editor. I've heard there's newer versions, but um, if you guys want to find your own versions, you can. I don't know why I like this older version. It just seems a bit more basic, a bit easier to use. And um, I'm not sure if the new version comes out different differently, but this one it says types of file Rubicon files, but you can change that to Game Boy Advance files GBA, and find your ROM like that, and select it. Now that you've selected your ROM. Uh, you can click on the offset and uh, insert the offset. Uh, yeah. Then you click on level script and you press decompile. Now, after pressing decompile, uh, after pressing decompile, a bunch of random stuff will come up. But um, on mine. For some reason, apparently, what is meant, to, uh, what you usually see is that here, where it says hash raw word, it'll be O X F F F S. If that's the case, then change it to O X O, and that will, uh, and that's one of the steps. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, if uh, it's still messing up on the Visual Boy Advance, and you've come here and it says O X O like mine has, then that's good. It saves you deleting four, four letters and typing one in. But after doing this, you just need to compile it on EX, uh, XSE, sorry. You, the compile button are these two cogs. Press compile. It compiles it for you. Press close. Uh, this you can close. Nope. Don't want to make any changes to that. Uh, this you can save. I'm not sure if you necessarily have to, but save it. And now you can go back on your Visual Boy Advance. Go on, op oh, not open Game Boy. So clumsy, I think I'm tired. I'm recording this at like midnight. All right, here we go. Round two, open, and you get your ROM. Oh, I should have made a save load. Should have made a save load. All right, just uh, bear with me one second while I skip through all of this bit. All right, so we're here, uh, closing in on the door. And what should happen is we go in, it will save the script, and that's it, it should just finish. All right, it says it. See, it works. I told you. And I'm pressing A. Nothing else comes up. I can walk around. Nothing else comes up. And I can step back on that first spot. Nothing comes up. And, uh, yeah, because we've set a VAR as well, even if you decide to re-enter the map, nothing will happen. I'm assuming, I've not tried it myself, I'm guessing if you take away 
no, you can't take away that set file function. You'd, you'd have to have a, that set file function um, unless you used flags to, you know, reset it and do long things like that. This var will only happen once. It'll do something and then it'll never happen again. I'm sure you guys can come up with many ideas. That's how the oak script at the beginning of the game works. You know, you just get sucked in. Well, I might as well show you. You just get sucked in and then, you know, you get sucked in and then it's not like next time you go in there, something different happens. So, yeah, that's, these, are, these are called level scripts. You step into a new map, something happens, movement, uh, text, uh, giving up Pokemon, giving up items. And, yeah, that's how it works. Uh, well, this has just reminded me, I could teach you how to walk. See, look, I'm not pressing anything, and he's, and the character's moving, and people are saying stuff. You know, so this is level scripts in action. <laughs> uh, how, these are how you can use it in your own game. So, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry these tutorials have been so late. I've been taken, most of my time I've been taken up by that advan uh, After Effects video that I showed you. Uh, sorry about, um, I know I asked for requests of tutorials and stuff, but, uh, and I've not, I've not done. I've got quite a few. Thanks for sending me those ideas, but uh, you know, I'm, it's a bit difficult. They're they're quite uh, tough tutorials to make and plan and do. So uh, yeah, thanks for waiting. Thanks for thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'll be back with another tutorial uh, as soon as possible, as whenever. <laughs>